Hello, uh, my name's Ian and I'm the voluntary, volunteer archivist at St Dunstan's College and here we are in the archives room and today I've been asked to tell you a little bit about Commemoration Day. Um, now the Commemoration Day service this year has been held this Friday on the 28th of May um, and it actually dates back to 1901 when the then head Charles Stewart introduced it as a way of honouring the founders and benefactors of the school. Um, and the benefactors are all individually listed in the order of service for this week as they were um, going back right to its, um, the first service. And these benefactors, they weren't contemporaries uh, of the school's foundation. They're actually people who lived between the 15th and 18th centuries, who, people who had left um, quite large bequests to the parish of St. Dunstan in, in the East um, during that time. Uh, and the money was then put towards the uh, construction of the school, which I believe cost £60,000 back in 1888. I don't think it's by you so much nowadays. Um, so the Commemoration Day was originally held or always every year on the 19th of May, which is uh, St Dunstan's Day. Um, and that would be whether it fell on a Monday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday, it was always on the 19th of May. At some point that changed um, to the Friday before half term and that uh, carries on right up to the current day as it is this week. Um, and before the First World War, it used to be held in the, the church of St. Dunstan in the East, where the school has its uh, heritage. Um, uh, unfortunately, that church was very badly bombed in 1941. Um, and whilst the walls uh, are still standing and the tower, it's now been allowed to, to revert to nature somewhat. And funny enough, I was there just recently. I had some time to kill for a dental appointment. And it's a really beautiful spot. Um, the, 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 as I say, the, 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 it's quite overgrown and it's been allowed to be overgrown and it's a beautiful, quite uh, ethereal place to visit. It's just between East Cheap and Lower Thames Street. Um, so the Commemoration Day service since 1948 has been every year at Southwark Cathedral, uh, as it is this year. Um, for, for many years, uh, a feature of it was that the entire CCF contingent from the school would travel up by train to Cannon Street and then march either to St. Dunstan in the East or after the war across London Bridge to, to Southern Cathedral. Um, but I'll show you a photo here. This is from 1957. Uh, you can see the CCF band uh, making a, a racket, I would imagine, crossing London Bridge. And I think the, the rather dismal looking building in the background is actually Cannon Street Station. Um, that, that's a slightly earlier pre-war photo. That's when they would have been marching towards uh, St. Dunstan in the East. But that, that tradition of having the whole CCF contingent um, crossing London Bridge, that died out in the 1960s, I think, because it just caused so much traffic congestion, as I'm sure you can imagine, and people got increasingly irate by it. Um, so that came to an end. But one little story about that is that when they were crossing the bridge, the, all the cadets were told to sort of eyes left and salute the um, chairman of the Board of Governors. Um, uh, the problem was that none of them actually knew what he looked like. Uh, so what the school did was arrange for the head secretary at the time, Mrs. Brown, who they would have all recognised, was to stand very close to him and wear a big hat so they could make it out very clearly as when they should turn eyes left and give the salute. So it was actually Mrs. Brown rather than the chair of governors who was getting the salute. Um, but that's just a little uh, nugget I found somewhere. Um, so tomorrow, uh, sorry, not tomorrow, Friday, 28th of May, Southern Cathedral, that will be the, um, that's the order of service for that. As I say, we've got them going back to 1912 here. Uh, and we have most of them for the last uh, 100 plus years. Anyway, I hope that tells you a bit about it, um, and I hope you can join in on the live stream and enjoy it. Thank you.